Oh, here it goes. Oh, 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 it's stretching. Come on, come on. Oh, oh goodness, which one will win? Which one will win? All oh, the bungee. The bungee just keeps going. Uh oh. Drying hay just smells so good. I don't know what it is with the smell of dry hay, but it smells good. This stuff is ready to bale. Man, this windrows are like, it's almost the same height as my waist. It's going to be crazy. That round baler is going to be shooting them out like crazy. We're going to be like driving 25 feet, stop, unload, drive 25 feet, stop, unload. Hopefully... We get plenty of round bales. We need a lot of round bales to make it over winter time. Man. So me and my cousin were basically contemplating. Which tractor do we want to hook up to the baler? So the International. It's a 1206 Turbo front wheel sis. Brand new. It's got the sunshade. It's got the fancy radio model too. I mean look at this. I mean, that is a major upgrade. I'm just joking. But at least you get to listen to some tunes while you're bailing around. Or do we want to put it on the 4620 High Boy? I'm thinking. So I got them all cleaned up. They're ready to put on the balers because we did mow down and rake all of our uh, field there. What's the best thing to do? I think we're going to have a little tug of war between the two to decide which one gets to pull the Vermeer round baler. I know, I know we might break something, but you got to have fun on the farm. You can't just, you know, everything can't just be serious. So I think we're going to get them both. I'm going to have to take this rake back. This is not my rake. It's way too big for my operation anyways. So I'll take the rhino back park though i mean the old farm all here it's out of the running so i know round baler doesn't take a lot of horsepower what does take a lot of horsepower is our big once you get a round bale and you're pulling it up hills and everything like that you do need a little bit of horsepower to do that because it gets pretty heavy but the actual round bale it doesn't take too much horsepower Man, is this rope hard to uh, get around? This Yankum rope just wants to go everywhere. Little flimsies. Get, don't, don't run away from me. Get back here. It's like a freaking slithering snake. Man. We got the hook hooked up. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. No, no. No, don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, man, that rope is going crazy. Don't you do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 she, she's pulling away. We're, we're still spinning a little bit here. That Yankum rope is really going, oh. I don't think, oh, oh. Oh man, that rope when it stretches, man, she could really, oh. Man, they are both just uh, fighting against each other. Hmm. It is a tug of war. So I decided to hook the tube onto the tractor just to have a little bit of fun. No one would get on it though. I really tried to get my cousin to get on it. I don't know why. I mean, look how fun that is. Granted, that road rash is a serious thing. I mean, it looks fun to me. I mean, look at all that. Bouncing around. Swinging all over the place. Woo! Oh, man. We almost popped our tube. I mean, look at that thing go over there. That thing is fun. Woo, doggy. Oh, man. We're riding the ditch over here. Oh, man. If I could only convince somebody to ride that. Would anybody get on that for me just so I could experiment? You know, going down the road. 
This is the strongest tube ever. Alright, enough with horseplay. We need to get to work. We need to bail our hay. Alright, I know the John Deere one, but I really want a sunshade for when I'm bailing around. So I'm going to put this on one of the bale trailers here. We got plenty of bale trailers right here. We got the two, we got the gooseneck, we got the HNS. What is this? This is a uh, eight. So you can put eight on the side, and then you can put another, what, three on top? I guess you could put six on top, but that might be pushing it a little bit. All right, so this is going to go on the baler. I know, I know. Why'd you lose? You had a front wheel sis. You got wider tires in the back. I know that tractor has duels on it, has where the weight matters, but should have won, International. I don't really know which one has more horsepower. But at least we can listen to some uh, old school AN, a and m radio here. The old stuff. Oh wow, that ba this tractor looks teeny compared to this baler, that's for sure. Teeny. Got the Vermeer out, now we just got to start some baling. Baling around here, man, does this baler suck up the, the windrows. Ooh, yeah, we are going to get plenty of them bales, that's for sure. There we go. Got my cousin going around here. I got to get everything else ready to go. Uh, I am going to uh, borrow Jim's uh, loader tractor. So it's just a bigger loader tractor. I know uh, I want to use our, uh, we're going to need our 4440 to pull one of the bale trailers. So we're kind of at a loss. We just don't really have a lot of tra tractors anymore. It's kind of surprising for me, you know? But, uh, watch her a little bit. I'm just making sure she isn't going to leave a whole bunch. So I got my two John Deere's hooked up to the bale trailer. So I did unhook my 4440 from the grain cart for a little bit. I think I'm gonna hook up my uh, this just to the truck. Uh, I mean, I could you. I just don't have enough uh, tractors around this place. I'm at a loss for tractors. Uh, my cousin is still going. Oh my goodness, is she leaving a lot? Yeah. Them wind rows are quite big, so when you're trying to get a nice flat uh, round bale, it might be a little bit tough. This thing is the ultimate loader tractor, I think. Man, it just looks so good. I don't know why, but I love Jim's Challenger. This thing is Macklin. Maybe I just like my loader tractors. I don't know. Alright, so now we got to get all of our bale trailers into the field so I can start the painful process of loading them up. It's not really painful. I really enjoy doing this. I have no idea why. It's one of the most relaxing things. Alright, load this bale up. Put it over here. Get it on the old bale trailer. Hoping this bale trailer works all right because I got two of them. That would be a serious bummer. All right, that bale is on there. Man, are we gonna have a lot of bales on this field? 
whole lot of bales. Alright, the one thing you don't really want to do with this bale trailer is load it like I am. You probably should load it through the front end, or at least try to balance it. Probably not a good idea to uh, load it unbalanced. But we're putting one bale on one side and one bale on the other. It can't be that bad, right? right? Yeah, probably is bad. Alright, we got that trailer loaded. We're, I'm just going to put eight bales on it. I mean, I could put some on the top, but uh, that, that would definitely uh, be quite the load for it. Alright, let's get this old uh, 4620 started up here. Oh, come on. There you go. Start going up. This is an easy load for this old tractor. Oh, he's so cold-blooded. Oh, 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 hay fields are just so bumpy. I mean, look at that. Just bouncing all over the place. Uh, uh, uh. I think I'm gonna lose a bale here. Oh, I gotta take this. I gotta baby this. I gotta baby this the whole way. So I don't lose a bale. Oh man, so bouncy. Alright, so I'm gonna start packing these bales into two because we got our gooseneck trailer hooked up now. Cousin's still going around there. Back up. Uh, I didn't get lined up right. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe I did. You gotta be very careful. And I'll put her over here. I'm calling the bale a her. I know. I'm just weird sometimes. Alright. Put them two together like so. Uh, 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 uh. I thought I was at least. Try to drag. Uh, uh, that isn't working. I was gonna try to drag these together. Ugh. It's way easier said than done. Pick her on up. And that's one heavy load for the front of this uh, old tractor. There we go. Just give them a little push. Get another bale or so, or two. And I think we'll have that bale trailer about loaded. Now we gotta spear these bales right now. Spear them down, pick them up. Ugh. Probably shouldn't put them up that high. A little bit hard for the front end of that tractor. Pack them in there nice and tight. Get one more, two more in the back there. The trailer will be loaded. Alright, got the 4440 now. This is the last trailer we gotta load up. And we probably don't even have like a quarter of the bales loaded. I I didn't have a uh, bale counter, man. Did we ever leave a lot of the windrow in our field? I mean, just look at all them bales across the field there. And I'm guessing that's like 20 bales right there. And then we got maybe another 20 up here on the hill. Yeah. We got a lot of bales to pick up. Gonna have to rush, rush, rush. Get these bales loaded. Alright. Gonna try to load two bales at once on the back of this trailer. This trailer is a little bit tricky because you gotta have the bale almost perfect, place perfect for it to sit right. Otherwise it just falls off, if you know what I mean. But it has to be leaned in to the center of the trailer and they just like to fall away from the trailer if you don't have them and it's 
awful hard to judge from inside the tractor seat here if you're placed just right. He's up on there. Clamp that down. Ugh. Ah, the seat is like a little buckaroo on this tractor. Bales are heavy. They're dry, but they're still heavy. Get lined up perfect here. Let her down. There's two bales. See how that one is kind of cantered? Now I'm going to have to fix that one. Ooh, uh, look at that. Good thing I got an air ride seat because it's bucking me all over the place. Oh, perfecto. Very nice. Alright. Now, you gotta offload these and do it again, like three times in a row. Alright, gotta take this load over. Oh. Oh, man. This always makes. Oh. 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 Oh, it's so bouncy. Why do grass fields always get so bouncy? start off so smooth and then all of a sudden they're nothing but a whole bunch of ruts uh, 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 maybe I should strap these down what do you think yeah all these bales uh, how many bales do we all hold right here so we got 12 on this thing we got 8 on the 4620 here we got another 8 two on the truck uh, let me do my quick math here that would be 28 30 I think it's 30 I probably counted wrong you guys are gonna correct me that's a lot of bales and this is our second load and I think we at least got another 30 in the field Ooh, yeah slow down truck yeah definitely got to creep with these things they don't have that many tires and tires really just sink right down into the old them gopher holes out there in our pasture well now that that's done on to harvesting but thank you all for watching and i will see you later over here in missouri thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe the life of a tube man I have no idea. This is probably really stupid. Oh, let's see. Get it going, Leah. Yep, yep. Get some speed up. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Oh. Woo. Woo, yeah. Oh, I almost hit that tree. Oh, make sure you like the video helps me out a ton. If you don't know, you can save a ton by using the code SQUAD on Apex Gaming PCs. They have all the PCs. They'll even build you the perfect PC. Oh, oh, ow. Perfect PC. Ah, that one hurt. For your operation and your needs. Check them out.